everyone red riding hood I, I mean my next makeup here with another makeup look yes this is all about that dramatic glam look for the holiday parties the new year's eve parties whatever parties the wednesday just going to work type of it i don't care what you're doing get into this glam do you see this glitter on these eyes girl when you go to the party you're gonna be the show stopper, the starter, the whatever you wanna be. Honey, you are going to be it with this glitter on these eyes. And if you rocking some red hair like this, honey, you're bringing the party, you are the party, okay? So that's just how I like to do it. When I step out, I like to make an appearance. Honey, when I go out, I want every head to turn. I want every eye to back as I walk past. Honey, they trying to see, what is this? Yes, this is me, yes. Get into this look. Mm -hmm. So if you want to see how I created this, then just keep watching up. Oh, but before you do, please click that thumbs up button and subscribe because you're gonna want to before you leave. Don't forget. All right, all right. First, I'm gonna start off by priming my eyelids with the Smashbox 24 hour eyeshadow primer and just blend that all over. And then I'm going to take the Morphe 35K palette and I'm going to apply this soft brown all over the upper portion of my eyelid as my transition color. And then taking this slightly darker rich brown, I'm going to apply that right underneath its soft brown and blend that inside of my crease. So now I'm gonna take Morphe's Gel Eyeliner in Slate and using a eyeliner brush, I'm going to just put a line kind of in the shape that I'm wanting to create a quote unquote cut crease look. And after applying that, then I'm going to take another brush and diffuse that line by blending it. Then I'm just going to do the same thing on the outer. Give me that clean line and then diffuse it with that brush. And I'm just going to connect the two lines to create that shape that I want. Now using the black eyeshadow from that same palette, I'm going to apply it on the outer portion on top of this gel eyeliner that I applied and just smoke it out a little bit more because in the end I want all of the outer portions of this eye to be smoky. So I'm just applying it and then blending. Honey, please blend it, okay? And then I just keep adding and blending, but I don't have to be too technical on top of the lid because that's gonna get covered up with the glitter Now I'm just gonna clean up the edge using a makeup wipe and then I'm going to add a wing using that same Morphe Gel Eyeliner. I'm not gonna get too technical with it because I have the smoke on the outside so you really can't see the detail. Plus, we're going to get to the star of this show which is this glitter. So that's going to hide any mess ups that you have anyway. This glitter that I'm using is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner in Glam Rock. And I'm just going to apply that all over my lid into the shape that I am wanting it. But while applying it, I do wanna make sure that I leave enough of that black on the outer portion so that you can see because I worked hard on this smoke, all right? So now I'm going to add the Tulip Fashion Glitter right on top of the Urban Decay Eyeliner just to make this glitter stand out, honey, because I need you to see me from across the room. Then I'm just going to darken up that wing using this NYX Matte Liquid Eyeliner. Okay, now for these lashes, I got them from a store called Performance in my area. It's basically a Halloween store, and I think I picked up the biggest ones they had. Why? I don't know. I want it to be grand, and here they are. I don't have the name for them. I'm sorry. But moving on to the face, I am priming my skin using my Makeup Forever Primer, and I'm just blending that all over, and then I'm going to color correct using my MAC Conceal and Correct Palette in Dark. And then I'm just going to conceal with a very bright concealer from that same palette, but in the medium version. And then I'm just going to blend that in. And the foundation that I'm going to use is my MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC50 and 42. I just mix the two until I get my color. And I'm just gonna blend that in with my brush. 
Well, I haven't used a brush in a very long time, but I am going to go back over it with my Beauty Blender because I feel like I just cannot complete my face without using it. I don't know why, that's just me. And next I'm gonna contour my face using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in medium to tan. And I'm just applying all of these dark browns. I just blend them all in together. But this time before I blend that in, I'm going to go on and apply my highlight, which is the MAC Select Moisture Cover in NC35. And I'm just gonna put that under my eyes, on my forehead, nose, and underneath my contour. And then I'm going to take my damp beauty blender and blend that all in, yeah. Blend it all in, starting with the highlighted areas first and then moving on to the contour. Now, if you've been rocking with me since day one, you will see that in my videos, I always change up my foundation routine, my highlight contour, all that, because I don't want this process to get redundant or boring. So that's why you will see me always doing different things. Cause in the end, this is art. So do whatever you feel, honey. Now I'm going to apply a powder and I'm using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep. Sorry, I forgot to show it. And then I'm going to apply something else that I forgot to show, which is my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I'm just putting that on all of my highlighted areas. But I'm not gonna sit it there to bake. No, no, darling, that was my Anna Mariah. I am going to dust it away using a big fluffy brush as soon as I put it on basically. And then I'm going to add some blush from the Morphe B9, the blush palette, whatever the name is. I am adding that blush and then I'm gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills That Glow Glow Kit. I couldn't tell you exactly which one I use because I literally just take my brush and swirl it around into the entire palette until I get this glow a popping. Yes, look at that, mm-hmm. And then I'm just gonna add it to my nose and to my cupid's bow. Now I'm just gonna apply eyeliner to my waterline and I am using the Rimmel London Scandalized Eyeliner in black. And next I'm going to add mascara to my lower lashes and I'm using the NYX The Skinny Mascara to get these lashes popping. Cause for this look, you have to go big or go home, honey. So I decided to add some individual lashes to my lower lash line. And all I do is I dip the lash into lash glue and allow it to get tacky and then apply them underneath my natural lashes on my lash line. And I start out with spreading them out first and then going back and filling in. And then I apply mascara. So as you can see, I started out with a red lip and the lipstick that I was using was the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Lip Color in Red My Mind. I have used this liquid lipstick for years, like literally years. This was my go-to red lip period, point blank, hands down. So after putting that on, honey, I thought I was the best thing since sliced bread. Do you hear me? Like, look at me, I am getting it, thinking I am so cute, until I put on this wig and look straight up like Ronald McDonald. Now, normally I don't shy from boldness, but for this look, I just thought it was a little team too much. So I decided to just take it off and start over. So now I'm applying MAC, Spice lip pencil and I'm just putting that all over my entire lips and then I'm going to apply Anastasia's Gilded on top of that. And finally to finish it off I am adding Sunset Strip. And then we are done with this look honey. Well, that is it for this makeup look. If you decide to go to that party where all the glitter that you want shine through the party, look at it, boom. I am the Christmas lights and the Christmas ornaments. Get into it. We are going to shine through the holidays. Yes, shine. They ain't even gotta like the truth. And please be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe button. Since it is the season of giving, I am giving that subscribe button to you to press. There you go, you're welcome.
And follow me on my social media. I am on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, all under Mamiette's Makeup. So until next time, please remember that none of us are perfect, but we are definitely beautiful inside and out. Yes. Click that subscribe. What the hell? <laughs> You're messing up my video. Oh my God, I'm trying to get done. <sighs> One more time. Get it. Y'all, if you see this outfit, <laughs> I look a mess. I'm cute at the top. Look at these pants. Boom. Yes. Look at these socks and these pants. Yes. And this jacket. Yes. I am all over the place. But yes. Honey, it is hot in this cotton ball jacket. Yeah. <clears throat> and cut it.